glide the shoulder blades down your back. So filling up on your inhales. So those kind of inhales that just keep going until they just naturally become exhalation. So for that. And one more time, big breath in, fill yourself up. And exhale, just sigh it out. On your next breath in, reach your fingertips high, lower your shoulders down, and then twist, go on over to your right. So again, shoulders are down, crown of the head lifting up. Take an inhale, find length. And then exhale, twist over to your right. So twisting right from your heart. Then one more time, big breath, get even taller. And then exhale. Your next breath in, take your right hand high. And then as you exhale, take it across the left arm. Can do cat cow this way today. So your breath in, first start by getting really tall. You may hear me say that a lot. Exhale your breath. Then on your next inhale, take your chest forward, maybe your head a little bit back. And then exhale, curl and round. So find this version of cat pose. Two more times, take a big breath here, really coil up the chest. And then exhale, curl and round, navel back towards your spine. One more time on this side, inhale. Exhale, curl. Your next breath in, unwind your hands, reach up. And then exhale, take it on over to your left. <clears throat> inhale, spine super long. And then exhale, twist like you're kind of curious about what's over the left shoulder. Then a big breath in for length. Exhale over to the left. And second side here. So lift your left hand up on your inhale. And then as you exhale, cross the left over the right. Take a breath in. We're going to do three more cat cows. Exhale, curl and round. So really top under, and then breathe in, open your chest. Exhale, curl and round. Let your head just be heavy here. Inhale, chest forward. Last time here, exhale. Big breath in, reach your fingertips. Take your palms together and then exhale to take your thumbs right to your sternum, heart center. Take your chin towards your chest, maybe close your eyes. So coming off of Thanksgiving, finding ourselves in this whirlwind of shopping and online deals, maybe finding one thing here to feel grateful for. Breathe into whatever that is, big or small. And then even let that thought go. Just exhale, clearing the space in your mind for a really full practice. Whatever you came here for this evening, tune into that just as much as you tune into your breath. Next breath in, reach your hands high. And then exhale, come to all fours. Stay facing this way. You stay where you are. So on your breath in, spread the fingers wide. Press into the tops of your feet. Then exhale just to stay here. Find the core engagement. Inhale. Reach your right arm long to the side. Exhale. Curl it through, but leave it floating. Inhale. Reach it up. Exhale. Exhale, curl it under. One more time. Inhale, reach, maybe gaze up at your thumb, your fingertips. Exhale, curl it in. This time, come on to that shoulder. Right out of the gate, getting some shoulder action here. Press into the opposite hand, maybe even take that arm long. Find two breaths here. So fill up, exhale out. 
one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Start to unwind. Back to your tabletop, and we'll take the second side. So inhale, reach your hand up, maybe gaze up. Exhale. Send it through, but keep it floating. Inhale. Exhale through. One more time. In breath. Exhale, weave it on through, and then decide what to do with that alternate hand. Take full breath, watching yourself fill up, and then long, extended exhalation. One more time, take a breath, exhale. Okay, then work your way up to the again. Walk your hands, just one hand print ahead of where they are, and then lift your hips, come to your downward dog. So right away, start pedaling your feet, just working your way into this pose. Maybe bending one knee and lengthening the other heel down to the mat, whatever feels right at this moment. And then ex exhale all of your breath. And then take one full cycle of breath in complete stillness. Spread the fingers, breathe in, head is heavy. Exhale out. On your next breath in, come up on your tiptoes, bend your knees and walk up to your hands. So stay low here, find a forward fold. You can let your hands just drop down to the mat or maybe take opposite elbows, framing your face. Just shake the head yes, nod your head no. Just letting the neck relax. And give yourself a full breath. Again, exhale, just sigh it out. Your next breath in, find length, monkey pose. Exhale, dive over your legs. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift as you lengthen. Exhale and fold. One more time, inhale and fold it over. Bend your knees a little bit. Take your hands to your hips and roll all the way up. So take your fingertips high. Breathe in, so think about the stretch coming right from your bottom most rib. Breathe in there, and then as you're exhaling, take your right hand down your right leg. Get a nice side stretch. Hips are gonna go to the left, fingertips to the right. And then breathe in and reach. Exhale, right hand down, left hand down, sorry. And we'll do one more each side. So take a breath, maybe even longer. And then exhale, right hand down the right leg. And that right hand is super heavy. Another breath. Exhale, left hand super heavy. And then reach your hands back up. Exhale, palms together. We're going to go through three sun salutation A's. We'll do the first one a little more slowly and then build from there. Put your feet down into your mat. Take a breath in. Rise your fingertips high. Exhale. Dive over the legs. Step your left foot back, then your right foot back. And pause here in your plank pose. You can always take your knees down if it's too much. So dome the upper back. Flex your feet back. And feel for the crown of your head reaching forward. Take another full breath, pressing into your fingertips. And then as you exhale, if you're not on your knees, come down to your knees and lower all the way down. So hands right next to your rib cage. Inhale, cobra pose. Pause here. So shoulders gliding back. Arms kind of glued to the side. And then let your breath go. Let your forehead touch down. Two more times. Take a breath in. Lengthen out of your hips. Exhale, lower down. 
One more time. Inhale. Exhale down. Stay for a full breath. And then as you exhale, either come through plank or through tabletop back to your down dog. So that's a little more talking than I'll do for the next few. A full breath, spread the fingers. Exhale. Come up on the tiptoes. Bend the knees, either hop or step up to your hands and breathe into monkey pose. Exhale, dive. Inhale all the way back up. And before we change our minds, let's flow into the third one. Hold over your legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or hop back to plank. Lower half or all the way. Inhale, open up your chest. Let your shoulders lie back. And then downward facing dog. Three breaths. So where can you soften? Maybe any squinting of the eyes. Soften behind the throat. Two more cycles. So long breath in. Exhale. One more. Exhale the breath. On your next breath in, reach your right heel up. And then exhale, bend that right knee. So both heels are heavy and start making circles with your right knee. Just go in one direction three times and then switch. Then inhale, right heel up and back one time, curl and round. So take your knee to your nose and round your spine. Inhale, right heel up, exhale, downward dog. Either stay here, because we'll meet here, or go through a flow if you want to build some more heat. Always a choice. And hips back and up. Oh, shit. Second side. Left heel up to the sky. Inhale. And then exhale. Both heels are heavy as you circle out that left knee. And switch. Inhale. Lengthen it up and back. Exhale, one time, curl and round. So find cat pose in your spine. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your knees a lot. Walk your hands back to your feet. And take peace sign fingers around the big toes. So you can take a bend in the knees if you need to in order to keep the spine straight. So push down on your fingers. Pull up with your fingers and breathe in as you find length. Lots to think about. Then exhale, fold in. Either straighten the legs or if your hamstrings are super tight right now, keep a bend. Again, shake your head yes, nod the head no. And then release the grip on your toes. Walk forward back to your down dog. Right when you get there, inhale, right heel up. Exhale, curl and round. Pause. Take your knee towards your nose. And three times, take it over to the right tricep. One, two, and three. And then inhale, up and back. Exhale, step it through, rise up, high lunge. So find your footing first and then reach up and out of those hips Breathe in and then exhale bend a little more into your front knee take another full breath and then exhale plant your left hand take a twist over to your right so lean back into that left shoulder and feel that security there so you can lift up and out your right hand another breath reach up and then exhale right heel up and back exhale down dog grip so right to the second side so inhale left heel high exhale curl and round pause and then 
take those three little knocks up to the third, up to the left forearm. And then inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through, and right away, good old high lunge. Take a big breath, and exhale, bend a little more into that left knee. One, one more big stretch on your inhale, and then exhale, twist open to your left. Secure the right shoulder on your back, and then lean in there. Take a pull, 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 pull breath. And exhale, left heel up to the sky. Inhale, reach it higher. Exhale, downward dog. On your next breath, rock forward, find plank. Exhale, hips lift up and back. Two more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, dog. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Okay. Second time through. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, curl and round. Pause. Take those three knee touches over to the forearm. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, step it through. And your inhale, rise up to high lunge. This time around, we're going to add eagle arms. So take your arms out like a T and wrap your right elbow underneath your left. Firm legs as you inhale, and then exhale, hold inside that right knee. You can flatten out your back leg so it's more like warrior pose, and find your breath. One more in breath here. Exhale. Inhale back to high lunge. And then exhale back down, twist it open to your right. Make sure that right hip isn't coming forward as my interest was. Kind of rock it back and take another full breath. Exhale, frame your front foot. Inhale, right heel up and back. Exhale, down dog. So side number two. Inhale, your left heel up. Exhale, curl and round to the center, and then three times over to the left. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, step it forward and rise up, high lunge. Okay, second time with those eagle arms. So arms out long and wrap the left elbow underneath the right. Open up your chest, firm your legs, take a breath. And then as you exhale, fold. So again, if you want a little more stability, you can flatten out that back foot. Either way, how's the breath? Steady and calm. It's a kind of erratic and stress signals. And can you soften? One more breath. And let that breath go. Your inhale, back you go, high lunge. And then back down, twist open to your left. Flex that back foot and push down like you're launching out of that right hand. One more breath here. And then exhale, left heel up and back. And downward facing dog. Bend your knees a lot. Walk your hands back to your feet again. Take your hands to your hips. Roll all the way up. Breathe in. Find length. And then exhale. Palms together. Find tree pose. So press down into your left foot. Maybe today tree pose is supported. Hold on to a chair. Maybe not. Find somewhere for that right foot to go. Maybe it's just a kickstand. Whatever you need to do to keep the breath steady. Another full breath. Then exhale. Hold the knee to the chest. 
and lower the right foot down. And we have another side. So they're often very different. Press down into your right foot. Get sturdy there. That's where it all comes from. And then the left foot up anywhere along that inner right leg. Press the hands into each other. And then feel for that same sensation between the foot and the leg. Another full breath. Left knee into the chest. And then exhale it down. Okay. Breathe in as you reach. Exhale, fold over your legs. Walk forward, downward dog. I'm going to do a second sequence here. So inhale your right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, but keep it moving. Flatten out your left leg. Rise up, warrior two. So find warrior two. First time here. Press into that back heel as you bend into your front knee. Your next inhale, flip your front palm and take it back, reverse warrior. Breathe into the right side. Exhale to two. Inhale back. That left hand is heavy. Exhale two. One more time. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, warrior two. Take your left hand to your hip. Walk your left foot in and rise up to half moon pose. So both legs are really active here. Flex that left foot just as you press down into the right. A full breath. And as you exhale, start bending the right knee, step back, warrior two. Frame your right foot, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog, and we'll meet here. Either go through, build some heat, or stay and find your breath. Either deepen by deepening the poses or deepen by deepening your breath. Once you're in down dog, let all of the breath go. As you inhale, lift the left heel up. Exhale, curl and round, and this time we're bringing it forward for warrior two, bending into that left knee. Lengthen out so the collarbones are super wide, and then inhale, everything below the belt stays the same, reverse warrior. Exhale to two. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, keep that bend. Inhale, so right hand is really heavy. Exhale to two, and then, then creep your right foot in. Find Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe the right hand stays on the right hip. Maybe it reaches up. Ever feels right. This is your practice. Your way of transitioning from maybe a long weekend into another week. Take a breath, bend your left knee, step back to warrior two, and then frame your front foot, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, down dog, three breaths here, you can always find child's pose, and let the head just hang here. more into the finger pads, kind of taking some pressure off the wrists. Exhale. One more full round here. And here we go, back to our, back to our regularly scheduled sequence. Inhale your right heel up. Exhale, curl and round, keep it going, and come up to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time here. Inhale. Really get that side body stretch, the right side. Exhale to two. And up we go. Ardha Chandrasana. 
either stay with this version you did or maybe find Arda Chandrasana Chapasana taking a thigh stretch. The right pose for you is the one where you can stay focused on the breath. Whatever that means today. Find your breath here. Breathe it in. Exhale. Bend the right knee back to your warrior two just for a breath. Train that front foot. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. And second side we go. Left heel up. Breathe in. Exhale, curl it in. Use your back. Use your core. And then take it. Move into the front. Rise up, warrior two. Your breath in. Side body stretch on the left. Exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, and then find your version of Arda Chandrasana. So if you took that thigh stretch, maybe give it a whirl on this side. And stay with the breath. Push down into that left foot. Keeping the neck long. Full breath. Let go of your foot if you had it. And then exhale back, warrior two. Frame the front foot. Step back. This time just right to your down dog. Rock forward. Find plank. And then exhale all the way down. You're going to find locust pose. So this first one, take your feet just as wide as the mat. Making space for the lower back. Clasp your hands behind your back. So open the chest before you even lift. Then inhale, head, chest, shoulders. Let's keep the feet down for this first one. Focus on that stretch to the front side. Inhale, lift a little more. And then exhale, unclasp the hands. Take your left side of your face to the mat. Bend your knees, and then windshield wipe for the legs. Knees in the outer hips. And then let your feet lower down. If you like that with um, your legs as wide as the mat, go for it. Or maybe a little further together, like hip distance. Either way, forehead down. Clasp your hands, maybe the awkward way. And then inhale, head, chest, shoulders, maybe the feet as well. So much like we do in monkey pose, we are inhaling and lifting. We're also lengthening out of the hips. So finding that length. Another inhale, maybe a half of an inch higher. And then exhale, right cheek to the side, let your hands go. And then windshield wiper those legs. Then lower your feet down. Inhale, find cobra pose. Pause here. Nice open chest. And then up to tabletop pose. Setting up for pigeon pose. So take your right knee up to your right wrist. Forget that back leg for now. I know that sounds funny, but it's all in this front leg. So get really firm in the outer edge of the right leg. Press it down. Press onto the toenail side of that right foot. And then if you can keep that engagement while extending your left leg long, have at it. Otherwise, left leg gets the day off for this pose. Take a breath in. Really open up. And then exhale, fold over your right knee. Let the shoulders relax. If your forehead doesn't quite meet the mat, maybe make two fists. Just somewhere for the forehead to go. Relaxing your neck. Maybe even tapping into that concept of the third eye. So in yoga, it's often said that we have a third eye, 
right behind our forehead. And that's the one that looks in at us. The one watching and just kind of taking in what we are thinking, feeling. So with that thought, a full breath. Exhale. And come up onto your hands if you left them. Just step back, find tabletop pose. We'll take a cat cow in between sides. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, back to neutral and second side. So take your left knee up to your wrist. So same thing, really working this front leg first getting all of that engagement. Breath in, maybe extend that back leg or maybe just leave it as is. So big breath, really coil open the chest and then exhale, taking all of that length over the left knee. And just watching yourself breathe. another full inhale maybe counting to five and an exhale out for five come back up onto your hands and then back to tabletop one breath in open that chest exhale curl and round come to neutral walk your hands forward just one hand print and back we go, downward facing dog. Home sweet home. Okay, inhale, right heel up. Exhale, curl and round, pause. Take your right knee over to your left wrist and then send that right leg through fallen triangle. Lean back into the right shoulder reach the left fingertips high, breathe in, and then exhale, pull the right knee back in, inhale, right leg back and up, exhale, down dog, that's the second side, breathe in, your left heel lift, exhale, curl and round, inhale, left heel up, exhale, cross the midline, take that left knee to the right forearm, and then keep it going. So fall and triangle. Again, very sturdy in that left shoulder blade. Reaching up, finding that length. Take a breath in, lift your hips. Then exhale, left knee to the chest. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees. Walk your hands back to your feet and find Tata Hasta. Asana. So stay low. Maybe bend the knees, lift to get there, but lift your toes. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Pada Hastasana. So get really long in the spine, maybe even bending the knees. Take a breath in and then exhale and fold. Either straighten the legs or not, just this depends on your hamstrings. Let the head just hang. Letting something that does not deserve space in your head roll off your back. Then bend your knees if they're not, lift your toes. Take your hands to your hips, roll all the way up. Take a big breath here and then take your palms out and then down, clasp your hands behind your back. So reach the hands down towards your heels. Open the chest. Take a breath in, open it up, and then exhale, fold back over the legs. So shoulders, upper back. Stretching it out. Another full breath. Then exhale, 
stay low here, plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Front down dog, come up on your tiptoes, bend your knees, either hop or jump back up to your hands. Take your feet together, a little space between your heels, touch down outside your feet, and then inhale, rise to your chair pose. Sneaking that in there. Really sinking into your heels. Your toes have nothing to do right now. Like they're bored out of their mind. Reach your fingertips away from your heels. Breathe in. And then exhale. Fold over the legs. Maybe shake out the knees. Then staying here. Let your feet come together again if they kind of slide out. Let's step Press down with your hands, and then inhale, back up, chair pose. Either stay with chair, or take your palms together at heart center if they're not. Take a breath in, and then exhale, twist over to your right. Bring it out. Always take your feet hip distance if that feels better on your back. You have said that before. Twisting it over to the right. And then exhale, fold back over the legs, shake them out. And second side. So sit back into your heels. Take your hands together. Take a breath in, get tall in the spine. And then take all that length with you over to the left. <sighs> So the right knee is going to want to like kind of see what's going on. Just keep it in line with the left and twist again. And then exhale, fold over, bend your knees and come down to a seat. Keep your legs really long, just like you're standing. Flex the feet a lot and then take your fingertips right back of your hips. Open up the chest. So lean back into your hands. Then inhale, reach up out of the hips. Again, extending right from those lowermost ribs. Send your breath there on your inhale. And then exhale, keeping all the length, fold over your legs. Maybe bend the knees, maybe don't. So it's not a nose to knee kind of a goal here. It's getting those hamstrings, the length in the spine, even a release in the lower back. Let your next inhale, draw the crown of your head closer to your toes. Then exhale, just sink into the pose. Next breath in, roll all the way up. So bend your knees here. Make sure you have room in back of you. Pull the knees into the chest, sit up tall. Breathe in, and then exhale, roll onto your back. So right away, make circles like you're stirring a pot. As much as I can't picture cooking anymore right now. And then switch the direction. And pull the knees in, let the forehead reach for your knee. Let your head relax down and then cross your right knee over your left and pull the feet in, the ankles, whatever you got. Getting a stretch in that right outer hip. So draw the knees away as you pull your feet, your ankles in. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. And uncross the legs and switch sides. So take your left knee over your right. Pull in. And extend your knees away from the crown of your head. quieter poses, the mental chatter just starts off without us even knowing it. 
just using your breath, using your focus, to just accept that that's going to happen and then let whatever it is go. If it deserves a spot in your head, it will be there. Uncross your legs, pull your knees into your chest, forehead up, one more time. Then bend the knees, setting up for bridge pose. So this first one, just feel, make sure you can kind of reach the heels or come close. Isometrically push down onto your hands, your forearms, and your feet. So I always say this, but like to look at you, it looks like you're really doing nothing. But you know. You're pressing down, just engaging those muscles. So now push down so much that on your breath in, your hips lift high. You either leave the hands where they are or grasp the outer edge of your mat, edges, or go back to clasping your hands. So just opening the chest. Again, draw your knees away from your head. It's a lift. It's also, also this lengthening action, too, at the same time. Take another full breath, really open the chest, and exhale, roll all the way down. Take your feet as wide as your mat, and again, windshield wipe the legs, and knees go one way and then the other. The next time they go over to the left, keep them there, and take a twist. So the knees are to the left, lengthen your right arm long, maybe gazing at the right fingertips, maybe just kind of closing the eyes. A full breath. And a breath out. Inhale, bring it back to center, and we'll do another bridge, or if you full wheel in your practice, Go for it, but don't plan to sleep anytime soon. I'm gonna skip the bridge for that reason. So what you did with your hands the first time, maybe do something different. So maybe you take the outer edges of your mat, if you didn't. Press down, again, just isometrically press down. Engage what needs to be used during this pose. And then as you inhale, lift your hips high. opening up the chest, the counter pose for all the holding over of technology that we do. Another inhale, lift up, and exhale, lower back down. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Again, windshield away for those legs. This time the neck, this time when the knees go over, the opposite side, we're going to take another twist. Oh no, knees go right, I believe. Just do the opposite side. Lengthen out the opposite arm and just kind of tune into the breath. Another full one here. And a long sigh out. Back to center. One more pose here. Well, two more poses for, for Shavasana. So cross your right ankle over your left knee. So without using your hands, which we usually do, you use your core and bring the whole situation in. So draw your right knee away as you pull your left knee in. Engaging the core. Usually we do it with our arms or arms in back of that left thigh, but not us. Not today. One more pull in. Then exhale. Lower both feet, keeping the knees bent. And take the second side. So cross your left ankle. Engage the core, so navel back towards the spine. And then pull it in. Left knee away, right knee in. And then settle into your breath. Take one more. Exhale, lower down. And 
One more time. Pull the knees into the chest. Find happy baby pose. So take the outer edges of your feet, your ankles. I like to bend my knees and take the shins. It's a really nice way to let the lower back just settle into the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale your breath. And close the knees like you're closing a book. Make sure you have room. And then find what you need for a good Shavasana. So whether that's finding a position where you're lying on your back, more traditional, so legs as wide or wider than your mat, arms away from the sides of your body, or maybe a seated meditation, whatever you need for this transition time. I keep saying that, but this time between weekend and beginning of the week is just such a kind of a powerful time to just set yourself up. So do that here purposefully. And then settle in. Just even let the control over your breath go. And sink heavy into any shape that you chose, whether it's seated, whether it's lying down. As you lay here in stillness, just start tuning back into your breath. So not changing it. Just kind of tuning back into the sound of your breath, the feeling, the temperature. And then eyes closed, just add some small movements. So just wiggle the fingers, the toes, the small gestures. And take a big breath in. So your longest one yet. Reaching your hands up, lengthening your legs down. If you're lying on your back. Otherwise, just reaching the hands high, find length. And then as you exhale, if you're on your back, roll onto one side and pause. Take a moment here, just kind of an inventory of how you're feeling. Checking in, slowing down. And then again, just eyes closed. Carefully, we will meet up in a seated position. I like to read a quote when I'm done teaching a class. It seems just appropriate to have this one be about gratitude. So it's Aesop who said, Gratitude turns what we already have into enough. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Again, as we go into this shopping frenzy period of time, occasionally connecting with that thought that what we do have 